Welcome back. Today in every newscast, we are raising awareness about motorcycle safety and dangers. It is our day-long commitment to you. You will hear from a trauma surgeon at University Hospital to find out if she thinks that helmets really do save lives. There are now several states where helmets are optional. Dr. Linda Ding has seen firsthand that helmets can save lives, but she says it all depends on speed. It's not uncommon to see motorcycles on the roads in the Gulf Coast area. But unfortunately, it's not uncommon to see headlines like this. Down here, uh, because the weather is so nice, people are out on their motorcycles year-round, uh, which becomes a major problem because that adds that many months of the year where they can get seriously injured. And you don't even have to be moving at a high rate of speed. I've had patients who come pull out of their driveway uh, not going at any speed and uh, somehow crash their bike or lay down their bike and, you know, break their leg um, just from a minor low velocity injury. Injuries can vary from road rash to broken bones, paralysis, organ damage, and traumatic brain injuries. In some cases, death. In Florida, there's no helmet law. Um, Alabama, fortunately, we have a helmet law. Just because you wear a helmet doesn't mean you're going to survive the injury. Um, about more than half of patients who um, die from a motorcycle accident or wearing a helmet. But it could. Yes, I think in, in you know, low velocity injuries um, where you may not have a lot of other bodily harm um, or if you're thrown from your bike, uh, certainly the impact on your head without a helmet is going to be a lot worse with, you know, than with a helmet. That being said, Dr. Ding doesn't want you to think a helmet makes you invincible on a motorcycle. So certainly uh, wearing a helmet is better than no helmet, but I don't want people to get the false sense that just because you have a helmet, you're going to be protected because the rest of your body, you're not wearing body armor, you know, and you're going at highway speeds. And so if you encounter an accident or veer off the road, you can still die from those injuries. According to the most recent data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, helmets saved more than 1,800 lives in 2016. Experts say if all motorcyclists would have worn helmets in 2016, 802 more could have been saved. Dr. Ding encourages all drivers to be more aware of all the vehicles on the road, especially motorcycles, because she says they're small, they're fast, and they can really come out of anywhere. She adds that for anyone thinking about getting a motorcycle, she hopes you'll think about your family and think twice about getting on that motorcycle. On News 5 at 5, we are live at Hooters in Tillman's Corner from 5 to 9 for Riders for Riders Bike Nights. So be sure to join us for that as our full day of motorcycles, Rules of the Road, continues. Cherish Lombard, News 5.